So our next segment here is with three of the skill players who are behind the quarterbacks. We got Eric Pitcher, Logan Hopman, and Austin Noah. So you guys last year, um, you guys had a good year, got to that one playoff game, and of course that whole thing kind of went weird at Sims with a game that I had to sit in a booth for. I mean, I got tired talking. <laughs> so, um, Eric, let's talk with you first. So last year, you know, um, you had a big year as a receiver, but there wasn't quite as much passing as maybe there had been in previous years. You guys looking for more of that this year? Um, I think a good balanced attack is kind of our point. Obviously, we've been a running football team. It's kind of our staple. So we still want to run the football, but that opens up the pass in a lot of ways. So we'll be looking to do both. So for your position, now you've really got two quarterbacks that can be in that backfield at the same time and, and throw some real kind of cool razzle-dazzle plays. Do you anticipate some of that maybe freeing you up a little bit? Yeah, for sure, especially having two different guys, obviously, is a change-up for defenses. And also, I mean, a different guy like Logan compared to Jake, more of a running-style quarterback, opens up the offense a lot. So, yeah. And to use that as a segue, Logan, last year, you just ran through people. And then that Sims game, you had to run the whole show and right into our lead. So, so tell me what that was like. That had to be a real thing to get thrown into that. And after watching your teammate get plastered. Yeah, um, it was it was definitely different. I mean, you go from just being the guy who gets handed the ball to the guy who catches it, hands it off, or takes it and just runs. I mean, did did they make any kind of a pretense of you wanting to pass the ball at all, or was it pretty much just? ground and pound with, with you taking the direction? Oh, uh, we worked on it a little bit for more two-point conversion plays, but never like a full-time quarterback position. Yeah. It was never <laughs> never intended for that. So in Austin, now, you know, in comparison to Logan, and if you look back a couple of years, somebody like Tyler Burden, they were kind of pound people until they just submit. You are much more the slip back. And really, I remember the heads-up play that we had here last year where the guy picked you up and they never blew the whistle, and you ended up in the end zone. So how do you look at this year as far as balancing that attack out with a very different style of play than what I think the Titans are used to? I don't know. We work on our defense a lot of footwork, and it's going to help me analyze the field a lot better. But I don't know. I feel like I'm going to play the same way, run the plays, and do what Coach tells me. Now, and you guys are also three real key pieces of the defense. That's a great segue, too. So... How does, how does the defense feel this year? You know, you guys had a little bit of trouble with pass last year. Do you feel like that's getting sewn up a little bit? I feel like we're building it into something that we can make better, especially than last year. I mean, every year is just something to build off of. We just work to get better every every game, every day. I think the defensive chemistry, too, has been really good. Um, only losing kind of one main guy on the defense that played a lot in Trey. Um, we've all played with each other and have learned each other's strengths and tendencies a little more, so I've noticed that in practice too. With, with as many seniors as you guys have got, does that help you guys as juniors too for that matter? But everybody's pretty much been playing. Is that going to help you guys maybe make audibles on the field that you guys can see things coming? I think a little bit. Obviously the coaches are pretty good at game planning too. I think also we trust each other even more. Haven't played that much together. Um, we rely on each other, and yeah, we have each other. So allowing guys to maybe go a little more one-on-one -on -one so you can cover the other potential pass, out, pass routes and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, last year you guys finished at our lead. How do you guys see this team this year? What do you think is the potential for this team? We're going to start with you. I mean, I feel like every team has potential to go all the way. It's just commitment through the season and just working hard every day in practice, but... I feel like we got a very dedicated group of individuals this year, and I think when we come together as a team, we're going to make it a long ways. Good deal. Awesome. I think we've grown a lot since last year. We were a little young. We've got a whole kind of new defense. I think we've grown a lot this year. Eric, you get the final word. How, how far are we going this year? I think, obviously, there's a lot of expectations, and we want to go far, but the key for us is take it game by game, right? Focus on who's in front of us and kind of let the win speak for themselves. And, hopefully build into something bigger. All right, guys. Well, good luck. I know everybody's waiting for Friday, man. So good job, guys. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by. Yeah, All right. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you.